This module is all about the muscle tendon complex, or MTC for short. This module will consist of four parts. First, we will look at MTC functions. Then we will look at MTC actions. Third, we will take a vectorized approach to MTC torque. And finally, we'll finish off by looking at some unique factors of biarticular MTCs. For MTC functions, we'll see how the muscle tendon complex can operate as four different special purpose devices. It can act like a motor, a brake, a strut, or a spring. You may already be familiar with some of the MTC actions, and they are concentric, eccentric, isometric, and then the stretch shortening cycle. You'll see here with my mind map how I'm linking together the functions and the actions. And the MTC is acting like a motor during concentric actions. It's acting like a brake during eccentric actions. It's acting like a strut during isometric actions. And it's acting like a spring during the stretch shortening cycle. Next, rather than just looking at it purely anatomically, we are going to take a vectorized approach to MTC torque. That way, if you know where the muscle is in relation to the axis of rotation, you can determine which type of torque it will produce. We will do this for the lower extremity, the trunk, and the upper extremity. Finally, we're going to look at some unique aspects of biarticular MTCs, and we will use that knowledge to see how we can effectively stretch or strengthen them. So there you have it. There is an overview of the lesson.